roots. And these are for numbers whose cube root value lies between 1 and 100. It's a really, really good little trick. Uh, it's one you can really amaze your friends on. It does require a tiny little bit of work, but it's once you've actually got a couple of little things down pat, it's a really good little trick for uh, working out cube roots almost instantly. Okay, so first off, like a lot of my other videos, I'm going to ask you a little question. Uh, how fast can you find the cube root of this number here? Uh, 21,952. Okay, I'll give you five seconds. Okay, time's up. How did you go with that? Uh, now, if you got the answer of 28, congratulations, you did really, really good. You got the right answer, really good. Hey, if not, don't worry, keep watching this video because what I'm going to show you right now is how to work out the cube root of, say, this number here or any number whose cube root value lies between 1 and 100. So, so here we go. Just, before we go, though, I think it's... Just before we, we do that, I'm going to show you something. It's, it's a really... Uh, it's something that... It's probably the bit where the work goes, okay? So, I'll move that across, and here's something I prepared a little bit earlier. And what this is, is it's a table that shows you all the cubes of numbers from 1 through to 9. So 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, so on and so forth. And we're going to use this idea to work out cube roots, okay? So like I said, there is a tiny bit of work, but it's not too bad, okay? So just bear with us. First off, what I want to do looking at this is I just want to draw your attention to a couple of things. I want to draw your attention first off to this one here. This particular one here, the 3 cubed is 27. This one here, the 7 cubed and the 8 cubed. Now, I'm just going to write those numbers down. And you might be able to see something with these ones. Uh, what about I'll uh, make these a good black colour. So we have 2 and you're going to see there's an 8 over here. It's also 8 down there. Um, so we have this pair 2 and 8. Both of those add up to 10. So they sort of go together pretty well. We also have this pair 3 and 7. And what you're going to notice is this. If it's 1 cubed, the answer is 1, and, and 4 cubed, the answer is 4, and uh, the answer ends in a 4, and 5 cubed, the answers end in a 5, and the 6 cubed, the answers end in a 6, and 9 cubed, the answers end in 9. But for the 2, the 8, the 3, and the 7, something slightly different happens. For the 2, it ends in an 8, and for an 8, it ends in a 2, and for the 3, it ends in a 7, and for a 7, it ends in a 3. You see that? Okay, so probably the major thing you have to remember so far out of these guys are these particular ones here, these particular pairs, 2 and 8 and 3 and 7. Now, with that in mind, we can work out our cube roots, and I'll show you how that's done. Now, I'm going to work it out by, you know, quietly and see if you can work out what I do here. Okay, this is how you work it out. A da -da -da -da, bit of thinking music, and there we go, there's our answer. Did you see how I did that? Okay, I'll show you. It's not too bad at all. Now, the way this works is this. So first off, what we do when we're working these out is we have a look at the last digit. Okay, so this digit here, the 2. Now, if it's a 2, we put down, you might have guessed it, we put down the, the opposite pair, the, 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 the pair that goes along with that, the 8. If it was an 8, we'd put down a 2. If it was a 7, we'd put down a 3. If it was a 4, we'd put down a 4. Okay? So hopefully you've got that. And then we cross out these three digits here. And we're left with this 21 here. Now what we do is we look for a number who is either 21 or less, which occurs over here. So 21 or less on the answers here is this 8 here, okay? And that's two, 2 cubed. So our answer is 28. Did you get that? You might, you might not have. I reckon I'm going to go through a few more of these. Okay, so I'll rub these out and I'll give you a couple of other examples here. I'll rub that number right out. And, oh, I didn't want that to happen. I'll put him back. Oh, I'll keep those up there. Let's, let's just leave those. And what about I give you a different example? So, what about, say, uh, what's the cube root of um, 157,464, okay? So, what did I do? It's a 4, 
and a 4 is not a 2, 3, 7 or 8, so what I do is I write down my 4, okay, cross out those three last digits, and then our 157 would occur about here, so the next number under is 125, which is this 5 cubed, so our answer is 54. Yeah? Hopefully, uh, yeah, no, you, you, you're understanding that one? Hey, let's do another example. I'll tell you what, with this example, I'll give you a little moment to try and work it out, okay? I'll give you a nice easy one. What about uh, 29,791? Okay, so do you remember what to do here? It's, yeah, okay, so it's a 1, okay? Cross out those three digits. 29, the next one under is 27, which over here is a 3. Our answer, 31. Yeah, pretty good. All right. I'm not going to let you go that easy. Uh, what about, uh, I'll give you this one. 857,375. Okay. Look at that last digit. It's not that 8, 2, 3, or 7, it's a 5, so we're going to put down that 5. And 857, the next number under that is this 729, which is a 9 cubed. 95 is our answer. Okay, what about one last example? Uh, what about this particular one? We will put down... Uh, 571,787. Okay. How are you going with this one? You might realise this is one of these special ones. This is one of the, you know, the seven here, one here. So we're not putting down a seven this time. We're putting down a, a three. Okay. Last three digits out the way. The next number under 571 over here is... 512, our answer is 83. So that's how you do these, and you can do them pretty quick. But as I did say to you, there is a little bit of work with this because, as you might have realized with this, and you're going to go, hey, 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 a few people, I can always guarantee I'm going to get the odd little comment where people say, hey, but I can't work that off the top of my head. This one, you do have to go through and learn the cubes for the numbers 1 through to 9 here. Look, a few of these, a few of them you probably, if, if you're okay at maths, you'll you probably be fairly familiar with. And it's not that huge a deal. You, you pick these up pretty quick. I reckon you'd be able to learn them in a few minutes, okay? It's a matter of sitting down and remembering them. And once you can actually do that, you start to be able to do this mentally, which is really good. Because I tell you, you really throw your, your mates out. You, you can basically say, you work, you know, work out a...